all our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger, probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it. How about you screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders? Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. So where is he? He? Oh, you mean the cube? Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. A stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, Ben. That'll work, too.
I need a suit. I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues, no gravitational pull, nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. surface too. What a strange place. It's impressive, really. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. There's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. This place was made for humans. It's not just a machine mine. 
Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Gramps believed the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. Got to appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. Your man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. But he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Structures, then. Have you seen others like them since you're such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and said that I could too, that you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather, and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did he then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed, and gold makes for a powerful argument. be a way inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. 
Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. Finally, something. It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Wow. I like it. I'm taking the gun offline <laughs> to preserve energy. I'm with you. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. You were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the Soul Sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. I recognize these. 
They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. picking up something. I think they're pieces of a puzzle. We need more of them to find out what it is. That door is different. Mm. 
I bet there's an activation mechanism for the door. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. You resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Gran spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Now, these I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, it's way too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. Now, let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds, 
pierces the skin and slithers inside. In about half an hour it consumes everything. All that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. He called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. <laughs> oh, we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? <laughs> 